Hey everybody, so we are on week four now of my Retro Bowl series playing as Texas and the Texas Longhorns specifically, not uh, the Houston Texans, but we are about to play TCU and this is going to be at TCU. So we have our away uniforms, which I prefer the home uniforms obviously, but have to do what you have to do. All right, quick throw to the middle to my tight end for a 16 yard gain. Looks like I, I get the ball to start with, so I'm not going to get it to start with in the second half, unfortunately. That's what I usually prefer. Got a five-yard gain with a quick throw to the side. I'm going to try to do some more running. I'm actually going to do what I said and try to actually run more, not throw every single time. Oh, wow. Especially with how good a running back I have. He's amazing. Wow. Okay, I may, I may actually do more running this season because that running back is uh, one of the fastest I've ever had. I meant to use him just then and I forgot. But I can probably throw it to him. Ah, I overthrew it. That would have been a touchdown if I haven't if I hadn't overthrown that. Time to run right through him. Wow, this running back is incredible. It's like having Derrick Henry. All right, let's uh, get a two point conversion here if I can. By the way, I got a touchdown. I forgot to mention that. It just happened so effortlessly. I almost didn't even feel like a touchdown. And they also scored pretty effortlessly on me, so I'm going to go for the touchback here. It's 8-8 eight to eight right now, so tied. Just got a big completion to the running back, and he is running really fast. It's going to be hard. I think they're going to catch up to me, but they're going to tackle me at the, looks like the 7, maybe 8-yard line. All right, time to see if I can punch this in real quick. I hope I get the ball again with enough time to uh, score in the first half. Just got the touchdown, the quick throw to the end zone. Time to go for the two-point conversion. Looks like they're going to rush, so I'm going to definitely... Well, it was tricky when they're at the goal line, but you can't tell what they're going to do. Everything's so squished. It always looks like they're going to rush, even though they're not. TC is going right down the field on me. And they go for two points, but they get stopped. So they actually don't get the two points that time. So that means that I have a two-point lead. Texas is leading TCU by two points with a minute left in the first half. Hmm. I'm going to try a running play here. It's been working really well for me. So I seem to be able to break so many tackles. This guy must be really strong. Not only is he fast, but he's also really strong. I really hope he doesn't get injured this season. Let's try another run. That doesn't work so well. Okay, I got three yard gain that time. I probably need to throw because I don't have much time left, so I, I can't really afford to run much. Oh, wow, okay. I way overthrew that. I was just afraid of throwing an interception. <laughs> Actually, threw it to my running back then. Come on, somebody get open. I didn't throw that very well. I was trying to anticipate where they were going to go, but they, didn't, they did not go to the middle of the field like I was hoping they would. Oh, wow. I'm not used to how strong this quarterback is, so when I try to push it really far, it goes way farther than I uh, anticipate. It's weird how sometimes it lets you throw farther than other times. I don't quite understand that. I always thought it was really the same every time. Maybe it actually varies between the plays. Oh, I know I pressed that before I got tackled. Oh, well. Um, TCU gets the ball to start with, and they threw an interception right there in end zone, so... Same as if I had uh, just scored basically right before halftime. I'll take that. Thank you, TCU. It's like they just wrapped the present for me and gave it to me. I wish you could have logos in this game because it'd be really cool to uh, have the Longhorn logo on the Longhorn field or the uh, um, whatever TCU has. It'd be so cool to have the different logos. They need to make it where you can have custom logos in this game. As well as the name of each team in their own end zone. That would be another really good uh, update. So I hope, they add, I hope they add that at some point. I don't think there's any plans to, though. Quick throw to the middle. See if I can run around them. And I got around them with my wide, wide receiver. He's actually outrunning them for a while. Got all the way to 50. <laughs> all the way to halfway across the field. That's pretty good. Uh, I didn't even notice that t uh, TCU actually 
Not sure if they scored. Maybe they got a field goal. I guess they got a touchdown. Yeah, they got a touchdown. That's what it was. I just threw it to the wide receiver and it got another touchdown without even realizing it. I was kind of doing that without even paying attention. So it's always nice to meet a player that good that you can uh, win with sometimes with not even paying attention that much. Just got the two point conversion as well. So 32 to 21 is the score right now. I have a nine point lead. Let's hope they don't get a touchdown and then get the onside kick because they will definitely go for an onside kick. Okay, good. They went for the onside kick, but thankfully I, I got the ball. I should have used it more clock. That's awfully risky of me. At this point, I just need to use up the clock and not to throw an interception because that would be pretty much the end of the game for me. I would lose at that point. I just broke a couple of tackles with my tight end. Got a 32-yard gain out of that throw. Might actually be able to score again. Would not mind if I did that. Looks like I will score again and got a touchdown. Eight seconds left, making it 38 to 27. Pretty much means I will absolutely win this game. Not really in way for TC to come back at this point. I got the two-point conversion to make it even better. Makes it 40 to 27. Two seconds left. And they're going to try to throw it, and it's not going to work because they'd have to score twice. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed that game. Uh, and if you liked that, I hope you'll watch next week. It'll be week five against Baylor. So they actually happen to be one of my favorite teams. So I hope you'll watch as we have another uh, conference rivalry.